For our state capitol bureau, we sat down exclusively with Governor Kay Ivey to talk about major issues facing the state. She also addressed recent controversy surrounding her wearing of blackface while in college at Auburn. State capitol reporter Rashad Hudson sitting down with the governor. It's very rare that the governor does these sit down interviews, but I spoke with her about infrastructure issues facing the state prison system and of course the blackface controversy she's facing. They say a picture is worth a thousand words and this one has sparked a lot of conversation. Governor Kay Ivey admitted to taking part in a skit in college where blackface was used. At the time, did you view this as many people have called it racist and offensive? Did you view it that way? At the time, I don't even remember the event, but I've heard the recording. It was not considered a hurtful event at the time, but that was a mistaken situation. I have apologized publicly for ever participating in that skit. The governor later clarified and said she finds it offensive today. The NAACP has called for the governor to step down. She says that's not going to happen, but she did meet with their leaders. Here's part of that conversation. If racism no longer existed in our state, how would you recognize it? And they couldn't answer me. So it was sort of non-specific, but uh, I told them I'd be glad to meet with them again periodically. Another major concern facing the state is an overcrowded, unsafe, and outdated prison system. This all prompted a federal investigation. We asked the governor why continue with the leadership at the Department of Corrections. You know, I think we've got good leadership. It's getting people to want to become a corrections officer and well trained in mental health and to retain them. One way the state says they're trying to retain people is by increasing salaries. Meanwhile, the governor has created a study group on criminal justice policy. But a concern by many is that there's no formerly incarcerated person on the committee. I don't know about being on the committee, but they could certainly interview that person. Earlier this month, the state's gas tax increased by six cents, an infrastructure plan heavily supported by Ivy. We need to have uh, good roads and bridges for safe passage for our commerce, our public travels, and our school children going to and from work, as well as everybody else driving to work. We also spoke with the governor about her plans for education. That part of the interview will be on our website. Reporting in Montgomery, Rashad Hudson, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.